sugar babies and welcome back to my channel it is Peter by Christy today I am coming with my must-have drugstore and high-end concealers so I will show you these bad boys and I will swatch them so you see a little bit of them in action so I decided to do this because I get asked a lot what do I prefer more high-end or drugstore um, I think that drugstore has been stepping it up these days. You can find a lot of holy grail products in the drugstore as you can in high end. Sometimes you can find a bomb ass product that is drugstore and it beats your high end product. You know, it's just a hit and miss. It's a whole trial and error with makeup. You really have to test it because what might work for me might not work for you. So with that being said, I am going to do my drugstore concealers first. And one that I use on an everyday basis, it is not too heavy, it's not too cakey, just a light wash of concealer, it's going to take away that undertone but not give me that bright eyed effect. So it is the Maybelline Better Skin Super Stay and I have it in light medium. It looks like this, I'm sorry it is pretty rusty already. <laughs> Mama has done some damage um, and I will swatch it for you, it looks like that. Concealers, I typically go for the ones that have like the pinkish undertone because it's going to take away and cancel out my under eyes, my bags. So here is that one. Then next going in concealer range would have to be the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. I have the shade Natural. I also use Creamy Beige but these days I'm using Natural. Um, and these are holy grail. Like these you can find at any like drugstore or like they even have them in like beauty um, supply stores now for like three or five bucks ranging in that price point. But I usually get mine when I go to IMAX. I try to rack up there for these and as well as the Coco Lashes because um, they're typically what I use the most on my clients and here is this one again. Again it's a pink undertone because it's typically what I go for. So here is that one and a little does go a long way with this one so it's a little bit more fuller coverage which is what mama needs. And then the last but not least is the Maybelline Master Conceal. This for a drugstore concealer is life changing let me tell you. I absolutely love this. This is a new one. I just opened it. This is my third one already. And although this one is, this one's in the shade 30 light medium, it's usually what I go for, light medium. Um, but this one is super, super high coverage, like, look at that. Amazing. Love it. It will definitely conceal, correct, do all that goodness in one. I don't have to um, color correct when I use that one, which is what I like too, because you know, layering too much products can make it a lot more cakey, or you tend to um, crack a little bit more in your fine lines when you have a lot of more product buildup. So I love that one. You know, one less step is one less step. So those are my top three in the order. So light, a more fuller, heavy coverage. This is holy grail and I want to beat the face, but don't want to use high end concealer. So now high end and same thing for high end. I'm going to go in the order that I feel the coverage is for me. So first would be the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. This is probably like my 8 tube of this. This is like a staple. If you get concealers, then you have this. It is holy grail product itself. Um, this one actually isn't a pink undertone. It's actually more of a yellow. But it's not fully in the yellow tones yet. It still has a light wash of pink. Which is why I like it. It is full coverage. Very full coverage. The next one I like is the Makeup Forever. And this one I have in Y33. I love these. 
I really do. I've been using them on my clients as well and my kids. And I will say, these are amazing. So this is it right there. And this is a lot more fuller to me. If you are going for a more brighter, I would say the NARS. And then last but not least, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. The shade I'm in is light medium. I love this container. I love the applicator. Like everything about it just speaks amazingness. And here it is. This one is the lightest out of all my high ends. And I like this one because although it is light in formula, you can build. It gives you enough playtime and it doesn't cake. Like I've layered two. I've even layered a different um, um, concealer on top of it and it was fine. It didn't affect it in any way, shape or form. The NARS Radiant Concealer is the brightest out of my high ends. So that is something to take into. And I can still blend, still have playtime, which is what I like. So yeah, those were my concealers, my favorite. Um, let me know if you like this video, comment below, let me know what are your favorites. On my face today, I'm wearing the Cushions Foundation in N4, just in case you wanted to know. So you can kind of get something, so you can kind of get an idea of what the color ranges are for me. Um, but usually I get light medium or natural or if I want like a pink undertone. That this video helped you make a decision whether you wanted to go high end or a drugstore. Honestly, it just all depends on you and your pigmentation. I have a lot of under eye circles so I typically go for concealers that are pink undertones and yellow. Um, if you don't suffer from um, dark circles then believe it or not drugstore concealer will work amazing for you because there's really nothing to conceal. Mama has a lot to conceal. But yes, it is extremely hot in New York right now so I am running to take this off. These days I do not even like makeup on. It's really hot. It's hard. <laughs> But nonetheless, I hope that this helped you guys and comment below and let me know what are your favorite concealers. I am always looking for a good concealer. What's a good concealer to me and an amazing highlight? Those are my two products that I like live for and lashes. Um, but I always, always look for concealers because again, I suffer from dark circles. So anything that will like help me not have to correct and just use one product. It's life changing for me. I would gladly try anything. Um, but comment below and let me know what are your favorites. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks, loves.